Hello, I'm Trisha from realfluencynow.com and today I'll teach you 20 idioms with the word head. And I'm sorry, there are so many. And there are a lot I, I didn't even include in this lesson because there were so many I had to leave some out. I suggest that you copy and paste the text on the description for this video because I have all of the idioms there and then you can study them more later on someplace else. And if you haven't already done it, then please subscribe to my channel and click the bell. The more subscribers I have, the more people I can help with English. And if you want to learn more English from me, then click the link in the description of this video to find out how. Number one, big head. This means when someone thinks they are better or more important than other people. A sample sentence is, despite his success, he doesn't have a big head. He's still a nice guy. Two, cool head. This means to remain calm even when under stress. For example, he's successful because he is able to keep a cool head even when he's under a lot of stress. Number three, a roof over one's head. This means to have a place to live. For example, if I don't start making money with this business soon, I won't have a roof over my head. Number four, a price on one's head. This means money someone would pay to hurt or stop someone. For example, there's a price on his head because his business is a threat to the fossil fuel industry. Number five, all in one's head. Something a person just imagines that isn't real. She thinks she's sick, but it's all just in her head. Number six, to bang one's head against the wall. This means to keep trying to do something and not be successful with it. For example, sometimes I feel like I'm banging my head against the wall. I still don't have many YouTube subscribers. Number seven, to be head over heels in love. This means to be very in love with someone. For example, I'm head over heels in love with him and he doesn't even know I exist. Eight, to be not right in the head. This means to be crazy or have a mental illness. For example, people thought he wasn't right in the head when he said he wanted to start making rockets. Number nine, running around like a chicken with its head cut off. This means to be very busy in a crazy sort of way and like you don't know what to do. Sometimes I feel like I'm running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Number 10 is can't make heads or tails of someone or something. This means to not be able to understand something, as in I can't make heads or tails of why I don't have more YouTube subscribers. Number 11, eyes in the back of one's head. This means to, for someone to seem to know everything that is happening around them. For example, parents always seem to have eyes in the back of our heads because we always know when our kids misbehave. Number 12, from head to toe. This means like your whole body. For example, I hope I look good enough from head to toe to make him happy. Number 13, to go to one's head. This means to think that you are better than other people because of something. For example, even when I become successful, I promise I won't let it go to my head. Number 14 is to have a good head on one's shoulders. This means to think and behave in a responsible way. For example, he's got a good head on his shoulders. That's why I like him. And you don't want to confuse this with head and shoulders, which is just the name of a brand of shampoo. Number 15 is to have one's head in the clouds. This means to have ideas or plans that seem crazy or not very realistic. People think he has his head in the clouds, but he is doing what he said he would do. Number 16, hit the nail on the head. This means to be really correct about something. For example, he hit the nail on the head with his ideas for making really good electric cars. Number 17, keep one's head above water. This means to barely survive something. For example, I'm barely keeping my head above water, but I won't quit. Number 18, off the top of one's head. This means something that you remember without thinking very much about it. For example, off the top of my head, I'm guessing I'll be good enough um, within the next few months. 
Number 19, to talk one's head off. This means to talk a lot. For example, I'm usually shy, but sometimes I will talk someone's head off about something I'm really interested in. Number 20 is need something like one needs a hole in the head. That means that you don't need the thing. You don't need it at all. It would be bad. Don't cry, I hope. For example, he needs to get back together with his old girlfriend like he needs a hole in his head. Now, I know that was a lot. <laughs> now, I know that was a lot, but they were all listed in the description for this video. So you can copy and paste that text if you want and study these again later. Now, if you feel like you are banging your head against the wall trying to become fluent in English, then find out how you can learn more English from me by clicking over here. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible.